Our solar system operates with the precision of a mechanical watch. Every celestial body moves along its orbit in stable harmony. In total, the solar system hosts eight planets. The four inner planets, those closest to the sun, are known as terrestrial planets, composed primarily of rock and metal. Together with the sun and the asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter, these make up what we call the inner solar system, the very heart of our celestial neighborhood. Beyond the asteroid belt lies a different realm. The outer solar system contains four gas giants. These planets have no solid surfaces and are composed mostly of hydrogen and helium. If the asteroid belt acts like the first barrier preventing humans from escaping the solar system, then the gas giants in the Kuiper belt beyond them form a second cosmic prison. The Kuiper belt is a massive ring of dust and icy debris containing over a billion small celestial bodies. Looking at the solar system as a whole, it appears uniquely tailored in some ways. Take Earth, for example, our planet possesses a natural satellite, the Moon, which bears countless impact craters. Many of these craters are the result of objects that would have otherwise struck Earth. Throughout history, celestial bodies like Jupiter have acted as guardians, protecting our planet from potentially catastrophic collisions. A striking example is the 1,994 Shoemaker-Levy 9 impact, where Jupiter intercepted a comet that could have posed a threat to Earth. Without such cosmic protectors, life on our planet may never have had the chance to emerge. There would be no you and me today. So, why does the solar system seem so carefully arranged? Was it designed this way? To explore this question, we must journey back in time around 4.6 billion years ago when the solar system was born. In a quiet corner near the edge of the Milky Way, a massive molecular cloud rich in gas and dust remnants of earlier stars began to collapse under its own gravity. As matter accumulated toward the center, pressure and temperature soared until nuclear fusion ignited, giving birth to our proto-Sunday. In those early days, the solar system was a chaotic place, with leftover debris swirling in all directions. Gradually, some of these fragments clumped together through gravity, forming the planets including the early Earth. During this period, Earth was struck by a hypothetical Mars-sized body named Thea. This colossal collision gave rise to our current Earth-Moon system. Though each planet in the solar system is unique, some scorched by the sun's heat, others locked in icy isolation, Earth occupies a perfectly balanced position. Not too hot, not too cold, it lies within the habitable zone. 